Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, I am the Dependent Fanatic. I love Michigan sports, but I cover Michigan athletics across the board. Uh, hockey, basketball, even women's gymnastics if they do good. They just won the Big Ten title, but uh, I'll mention it. <laughs> but I'm not going to do a video on that. Hockey is coming up in the Frozen Four. They made it to the dance as a one seed because they beat Minnesota in the Big Ten championship game. But I love college football, and I will talk all teams in, in college football. We're going to start here, and you tell me right off the bat why J.J. McCarthy shouldn't have the best season of a Michigan quarterback ever. Um. First off, build the team, like I've always said, and the quarterback will come. And the quarterback doesn't matter until the team is built. Every quarterback needs a team. Go back through it all. Go back through history. They all have had a team with great depth and great people surrounding him. Uh, he didn't. Play J.J. McCarthy did not play in two halves uh, of the first two games because of that quarterback competition with J.J. Uh, with McNamara, Cade McNamara, excuse me. He transferred to Iowa, and yet J.J. still had 2,719 yards, 65 percent completion percentage, 8.4 average completion, average yards per completion, 22. Touchdowns and five interceptions. That sounds great if you're a Michigan fan. And that was his sophomore season, like I said, with no spring and no summer either. Um, going into that competition with McNamara, he had a, a shoulder injury. Anyway, uh, should J.J. McCarthy have the best season of any quarterback in history? Brian Greasy won a national title for Michigan. Um Har Tom Harmon won a Heisman at quarterback for Michigan. So it's tall. It's a tall order. Uh, statistics is not the only thing that matters. It's results on the field and who wins, who wins big for us, right? Well, but it's been a long time since we've had a team. Now we have a quarterback. Let's see what he can do. Michigan will not go away from the run. They will not. Uh, Edwards, Corum, Stokes, etc. will get plenty of carries. Uh, but with the, the threat of that running game be, uh, being so phenomenal, shouldn't that open up the pass game for McCarthy? This is a pass-heavy sport with uh, in this modern era with new rules that favor the pass game more than ever because you can't touch a player an offensive player if he's a skilled player you gotta basically wrap him up and lay him down on the ground or you're gonna get called for a penalty uh so i'm gonna get into michigan's passing records here historically and they all should be shattered by mccarthy with these rules you know these these rules the defenseless player uh, targeting has been inserted, and I agree with player safety. But the five-yard rule where you can't, well, that's the only time you can impede the receiver or whatever, that helps offenses. That helps passing offenses. And J.J. McCarthy has the arm. He has the, all the tools to do it. If you can pass the ball, not attempts-wise, but efficiency-wise, can, if you can pass the ball, get them 50 yarders, 70 yarders, 30 yarders, 20 yarders, whatever, that will open it up for uh, Corum and Edwards, et cetera, even more. Um, the, Joe, the Joe Moore Award for the offensive line has been awarded, awarded to Michigan the last two years, and they haven't showed it in the playoffs. But they're trying to do that again, and they have some pieces back from that in the transfer portal. Um I like our offensive line going into this season. That said, here is Michigan's quarterback records. Uh, passing yards in a year, one year, was John Navarre with 3,331. 
JJ had 2,719, and he had, well, probably had one more game than Navarre with the playoff and stuff, but, uh, and then the conference championship games. But he's right there. He's right there. In a game, passes completed uh, where Tom Brady was Tom Brady with 34, and I'm not asking him to be Tom Brady and complete 34 passes out there. I'm just saying let's u- utilize him a little more. I believe J.J. was 10th, or he was in the top 10 in passing yards in a season with that 27 or 19 yards. I think he was 10 yards behind Jim Harbaugh, his coach. You know, the team is there. I think Harbaugh has to utilize J.J., right, Um, in the passing game. Well, let's not forget he can run as well, but, um, you know, injuries and all that. We'll save that for the end games for sure, Uh, like we did with TCU. Versus TCU, he had 10 carries for 52 yards, 5.2 yards per carry, and a touchdown. So, you know, that's the kind of thing he can do late in the season for us. Michigan it tries to bludgeon people to death, teams to death, opposing teams. Run, 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 play action, off that and all that. And that's great. But what happens when you do, when you go up against a team that does that and has a quarterback? that is willing to sling it around. Michigan lost. Uh, Michigan lost to Georgia two years ago. Michigan lost to TCU last year. We need a quarterback now that we have the team. And uh, this is where quarterback becomes important. Like I said, you have the team. Now the quarterback is important. Uh, It opens it up for everything else that you're trying to do. Sorry for just got home from work, and I know it's, it was a long day, but I do drywall. <laughs> anyway, this is drywall month. J.J. McCarthy is going to be the best quarterback in Michigan history because I, they have the opportunity to run the table and win the national championship. What other quarterback is coming back that has experience? Ohio State, Georgia, Alabama, all have new quarterbacks. Um, You know, there's teams with quarterbacks that have had experience, but are they prolific? Like uh, Travis at Florida State, Klubnik at uh, Clemson. Of course, Caleb Williams is phenomenal but I don't think they he has the team he doesn't have the team he doesn't have the defense sure the offensive line is getting better the offense is going to be great because of him but it takes the whole entire team and that's why I'm so excited about JJ in and this whole entire season right now (laughs) Um, I think they have the chance to do it and go win the chip win it all and I wouldn't be surprised um it's basically, you know, now or never. We built the team. We got the quarterback. Let's go. Let's do it. That's what Georgia did. That's what Alabama did in the past. That's what Ohio State has done. But you have to, you have to do it in that order. And we're not going to go paying for quarterbacks if we already have a team because they should just want to come to us anyway. And I think that's the philosophy that Michigan has. So, there you go. Don't uh, Friends don't let friends be state fans. And have a great night, everybody. <laughs> go Blue. And go J.J. McCarthy. I think he can do it. Be the best ever. Break all the records and win a national title and maybe the Heisman.